So, Jesse Smollett had to turn himself in because the police filed a warrant for his arrest. And if I have never clapped the police up before, I'm doing it now. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I right, so, yeah. So apparently, Jesse Smollett has had to turn himself in. You got it. Jesse Smollett, the actor from Empire, who had said that he was attacked by some white racist individuals wearing MAGA hats in the middle of the night, like 2 o'clock in the morning, I believe he said, in Chicago, in Chicago, while it, while it was temperatures of negative like 10 to 20 degrees, negative 10 to negative 20 degrees, he was attacked. He has turned himself into the police for filing face police report. Okay, right here in the um, New York Times, shout out to New York Times, it reads, Jesse Smollett, upset by his salary and seeking publicity, staged a fake assault on himself a week after writing himself a threatening letter. Okay, for those that don't know, Jesse Smollett actually wrote a letter to himself. Okay, let's go back a little bit further. A couple of weeks ago, Jesse Smollett received some kind of fan mail or something like that, but it was actually a threatening letter. They hate him. So he received the fan mail or whatever the case was. And when he received the fan mail, what had happened was he wasn't happy or he wasn't satisfied with the letter with with the level of anger or how upset the individuals that he worked with, I guess, or his bosses or his superiors. I don't really like using that word superiors, but the people that he worked under, he, he wasn't, he wasn't happy with their level of anger at the particular letter. So that's why it's believed that he then went on to do this uh, fake attack. So it says Jesse Smollett upset by his salary. Oh, oh yeah. I forgot to mention that part. Apparently, he didn't like how much he was getting paid. So he thought if he upped his uh, political standing or upped his notoriety personally, that he would then be able to get more money. So I'm going to assume that his belief is the reason why he couldn't get more money is because the other actor, because there are other actors on the show who are more well known. I mean, didn't Terrence Howard like win an Oscar? That's the guy you're competing with? The guy who went and won an Oscar? Are you serious? Anyway, so Jesse Smollett, upset by his salary and seeking publicity, staged a fake assault on himself a week after writing himself a threatening letter. The Chicago police said Thursday after the Empire actor surrendered to face charges of face the charge of filing a false police report. Eddie T. Johnson, the visible angry police. Um, Chicago police superintendent said Mr. Smollett had taken advantage of the pain and anger of racism, draining resources that could have been used to investigate other crimes for which people were actually suffering. Now, let's be clear on something. This is Chicago. There are other crimes. <laughs> I'm not laughing. All right? I, I know, I, I, but there are other crimes. He actually had these police looking into, and, and now if you have a, a if you have an actor or a uh, celebrity anywhere in America and they suffer attack that is believed to be racially motivated, whatever city or town that that, that attack happens in, there's a good chance that their, their issue is going to uh, surplant a lot of other uh, issues that might be on the police radar, a lot of other crimes that might be on the police radar. Their issue is going to supplant it. They're going to they're gonna be at the top of trying to, we got to solve this shit matter. You understand what I'm saying? So the fact that Jesse Smollett did this, 
Eddie T. Johnson, who is the Chicago police superintendent, is 100% right when he said they was draining it, draining resources that could have been used to investigate other crimes. I've spoken on this before. So once again, they go, uh, I've spoken on this before. And in addition to that, there's people that have actually suffered through racism. Think about, does anybody remember that guy that was tied to the back of a, a pickup truck a couple of years ago in uh, Texas and he was dragged to his death? Like that's happening. Real stuff. That's happening. And Jesse Smollett is faking this. What happens the next time a person of color or a person with um or, uh, uh, alternate lifestyle that lives an alternate lifestyle, what happens the next time, you know, they step forward and they say, you know, they've been assaulted by people wearing MAGA hats. They could actually have been assaulted by people wearing MAGA hats. But there are going to be a large contingency of people that whether they believe them or not, they're going to use this particular circumstance to be able to say, well, I need more proof or I don't believe him or he's got to be lying. Anyway, I just wish that the families of gun violence in this city got this much attention, he said at a news conference. I'm assuming that um, Eddie T. Johnson said this because once again, I said this just a second ago. When you have a, a, a celebrity or a person who is a public figure and they get attacked, a, a racial attack against them, it's going to supplant. The, it, the, the importance of that is going to move a lot of other crimes down. And that one's going to go up at the top of the ladder because it's going to get so much news coverage. You understand? This guy is on like NBC, ABC, Dateline, Nightline, Dayline. I don't know whatever line, Noonline. This guy's on everything, doing all types of different interviews. I think he did like two interviews in like one day or something like that. So yeah, this, this is going to shine such a light He's shining such a light on this specific case that the police have to take care of it. I hear what you're saying. Yo, but we got to take care of the, um, the, the, the Chicago violence. Yeah, you, you do got to do that. But you think that these police commissioners want to lose their job? These police chiefs want to lose their job? Because somebody is going to look down and say, okay, we know about the violence. Yes, you need to stop that. But this dude is all over TV. Solve that crime. I'm telling you this is what happens. Anyway, the superintendent seemed particularly upset by the fact that Mr. Smollett, at that Mr. Smollett, he said, had arranged a fake assault that featured a noose hung around his neck. The police say the stage assault was carried out by two brothers of whom the actor had paid $3,500. Now check this out. Not only, and this is why they need to, they need to not go easy on him. I'm not one of those individuals that want everybody to go to jail. I'm not one of those individuals that want everybody screwed out of their life. But they can't go easy on this guy. I'm going to explain why. Not only did he alleged, alleged to have been attacked by some white people. Then he made it look like it was supposed to be racially motivated by saying they wore MAGA hats. Then he said they spouted racial epithets at him. Then he said they poured bleach on him. Now, just so we could be clear, It sounds to me like he's trying to start a race war. Just with that. Now imagine if that really happened. If everything he said actually happened. But happened to Denzel Washington. Happened to Barack Obama. Well, that's not going to happen to Barack. The security is retarded. But happened to Denzel Washington. Imagine. Just think, just stop every, everybody, everybody of every race. I don't care what country you live in. I don't care where you, what, I don't care if you hate, love black people. I don't care what you think about anybody. Think about what would happen if Denzel Washington said he was attacked by two Caucasian men wearing MAGA hats. 
that was spewing racial epithets. They threw bleach on him. And then they put a noose around his neck. Just think about what. Just think what would be the response. Not just in the black community, because there are going to be a ton of white people that are going to be pissed. There's going to be a ton of people of all nationalities that's going to be pissed. This guy was trying to start a race war. That's just my opinion. Allegedly. Allegedly. Why would anyone, especially an African-American man, use the symbolism of a noose to make false, false accusations, he asked. And when I say he, I'm referring to the uh, Eddie T. Johnson, the Chicago police superintendent. How can someone look at the hatred and suffering associated with that symbol and see an opportunity to manipulate that symbol to further his own public profile? A representative for, representative for Mr. Smollett did not immediately respond to a request for comment Thursday. What is he going to respond? How can you respond? What is he going to say? Oh, my client was drunk. He, he popped a molly. What is he going to say? The actor has maintained he did not do anything wrong. Okay, so we had a live chat today uh, in Morning Coffee. Shout out to everybody that shows up for Morning Coffee. Morning Coffee's at 9.20 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday. So shout out to everybody that shows up to Morning Coffee. So we had a conversation in Morning Coffee, and we was talking about this today, this day. And in that chat, um, you can't go back and see that, that Morning Coffee currently because I put it on lock. But I might um, take out a couple of snippets. So... In that chat, somebody called him a sociopath. Yes. With that response that he says that he maintained that he did not do anything wrong, I 100% agree that this man is a sociopath, or there's a good chance of it, and they might need to check him out and see what's popping. That's a fact. That's just my opinion, but it's a fact that that's my opinion. The attack was reported to have occurred on January 29th. Oh, wow. It was colder on January 29th than the day I thought it was, January 28th. Hey, go figure. So that means that January 20, it happened on January 29th, the night of January 29th, or the morning of January 30th? That's the question. Anyway, the attack was reported to have occurred on January 29th. Mr. Smollett, who is black and openly gay, told the police that around 2 a.m., two masked men attacked them on the 300 block of East Lower North Water Street in downtown Chicago. He said his assailants directed homophobic and racial slurs at him, put a rope around his neck, and poured a chemical substance on him. Mr. Smollett said the assault occurred around 2 occurred after he went to a subway to pick up food. I, I, I have no comment. I have no comment. When the police... Anybody eating at 2 o'clock a.m.? Y'all going to subways? Anyway, I mean, I'm assuming people are doing this because I'm assuming the subway is open. But y'all doing this? When the police arrived at Mr. Smollett's apartment, he was still wearing the rope. Why would he... So, hold on. Stop, stop. Everybody stop. So, he goes to the thing. They assault him. He gets beat up or whatever. He makes it all the way back home. After he makes it all the way back home, he decides to keep the noose around his neck. Really? That's what happened? They didn't believe him off the rip. I'm telling you right now. The police that showed up and seen this, they didn't believe him at all. Off the rip, they didn't believe him. I'm telling you. Mr. Smollett also told the police that as the attack occurred, he was on the phone with his manager, Brandon Z, dragging another dude into it. More. Oh, Brandon Z. Moore, who later corroborated the phone call to Variety. This guy, might he might have got two people fired. Because who's going to use that guy as a manager? 
The actor was initially hesitated to inform the police because of his high profile status, according to law enforcement. He he was his it was his friend, the choreographer Frank Gadsen, who initially made the call. But a team of investigators looking at the case as a possible hate crime could not find evidence to act to match Mr. Smollett's story. The attack was not visible on surveillance cameras and there were no witnesses. All right, so y'all could go check out the rest of that story on um on uh the New York Times at the New York Times, pardon me. Y'all could go check out the rest of that story at the New York Times. But look, man, this Smollett guy, I don't know what to tell you. I think they should throw the book at him. I think that they should give him I think that it's gonna be a shame because the crime that he actually committed doesn't really give time. But in my opinion, he needs to serve time. Whether it's six months, whether it's a year. He needs to serve time, in my opinion. I'm not never trying to send people to jail. But he needs to understand the 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 what he how what he's done is wrong. We have people that fought for civil rights. We have people that fought for gay rights. We have people that lost their lives fighting for both of these things. And you got this guy out here trying to manufacture a story. He needs to be held accountable. Period. End of story. Anybody that says different, I don't know what to tell you. But I believe he needs to be held accountable. And he needs to pay back the freaking police department for all of the hours that they spent. For whatever money that they can show that they spent. On these officers having to go and chase his freaking whack ass leads. He needs to be held responsible. He needs to come out of pocket. Financially, just so we can be clear on that. They need to give him a couple of months. And they need to hold him financially responsible. And then they need to give him probation. He shouldn't be able to walk away from this. There's people that died for both of those, bo fighting the good fight for both of those different uh, demographics. For this individual to come and just hit everybody in the face with pie. He a clown. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification game. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.